Hey, hey, pleasant good afternoon, you say Joe fans. This is going to be the next edition of the Ponzi Tape. As we talk about one of the best goaltenders in the league. He plays for a team that's been up and down this season, but he's been a huge bright spot throughout, which is Daniel Manella for the Tulsa Oilers. Uh, he was the goaltender of the month, the 26-year-old, in the month of January, really progressing um, himself in the right direction. The uh, St. Lawrence University alum, who was very good in his years, <laughs> As St. Lawrence, particularly 17-18 and 18-19, had a little bit of struggle bunny times in 19-20. Um, but also, those numbers have to do with the overall roster not being the same, etc., etc., yada, yada, yada. But uh, when it comes to the Chicago Wolves in this cup of coffee in 2021-22, this year in three games, he's been great. Uh, he has a 9.55 percentage there. And uh, when it comes to the Tulsa Oilers, he's been Amazing in 17.02 minutes played. Um, he's played 29 games. He even has an apple this year. Um, his save percentage is 9.19. He does have nine losses, but that has to go with what I said about the Tulsa Oilers as a whole being a up and down, inconsistent team that has had defensive inconsistencies, inconsistencies this year. Excuse me, that are going to lead to a goaltender having the win loss record of that, which isn't really speak to how good the goaltender is. That just speaks to the team, uh, really, at that point when you look at the win-loss record. Overall, though, otherwise, he's been immensely great. Um, He's saved their bacon, um, as our announcer for the Philadelphia Flyers would say, Jim Jackson, in many games for the Tulsa Oilers this year. As uh, Daniel Manila, as he's already got three games, um, as he, the St. Lawrence University alum has already got three games at the AHL, it seems like he's trending in the direction the 26-year-old he was a late ager out of college, got a chance in the ECHL, did really well, got to play some games at the AHL, already did really well with a great franchise in the Chicago Wolves. So obviously, um, that's, they're going to take notice when they have a guy that might be a diamond in the rough goaltender that they're developing there. Obviously, you don't need more goaltending in Carolina, but it's nice to have more goaltending when you have it. So he's a guy that they're going to continue to probably try to develop into a diamond in the rough and might eventually become the Wolves a steady backup with the way he's playing at very least and maybe even work his way up to by say he's 26 now 28 season 29 season being that a uh, starter at the AHL level even if he keeps playing at this level there's no reason to say why he can't the only reason <clears throat> some guys think him get on drifted is playing for more unknown schools like nobody really knows St. Lawrence University up in Canada and then he comes to play for the Wolves down here um, and then he does really well for the three games. The Wolves comes to play for the Tulsa Oilers, where he's doing great in the ECHL. So, um, obviously, I think Scout should be getting his eyeball on him as a under-the-radar goaltender to bring into their organization if he doesn't stick um, with the Tulsa Oilers or stick with the Chicago Wolves if he gets the call. up. Because once a guy starts doing as hot as he's doing, it, the teams are going to take notice. And whether it, if it's not teams in North America... Uh, which would be a shame for him because I'm sure his dream would be to play at the AHL and be a starter and eventually try to work his way up to the NHL. You, you've seen many goaltenders then get recognition from playing as well as him overseas, get to play in the Swedish Elite League, get to play in Finland, get to play. That That's more if you want to go to the KHL, but get to play in the KHL, and et cetera, et cetera, where he definitely is going to get some opportunity in terms of a pro league, I believe, if he keeps progressing at this level. But this has been a video on the goaltender of the month, Daniel Manila, who won the goaltender of the month in January and has continued to shine throughout the season with a 919 save percentage, 17 wins in the season and 29 games played at 2-3-3 goals against, which his numbers would honestly be even better if he didn't have as much faults in the line at times when it came to the Tulsa Warriors play where it's here and then goes here and then goes here and then goes here. They're kind of been roller coastery where if he's had better play in front of him, and they've been sharp, like teams like Newfoundland, teams like Reading, teams like Toledo especially, uh, then that would be a different story. I think his numbers would be even better, and up into even closer to the mid-920s and the, the ridiculous 934 save percentage he had in the month of January, because he is that good, and he's been that good this season. He's been one of the main reasons, the main cogs, the Oilers are still in contention and are in fourth place in that mountain division. But everybody have a great day. This has been a video on Daniel Manella, killing it this season, being the goaltender of the month in January and continuing his great success into the month of February and has been a huge cog to why the Oilers are continuing to be in the battle to get into the playoffs. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your day.